Hey, hey, hey! Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Ask Me Anything live stream. How you doing? I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight and I'm the Prosperity Minister. I support you in leaving behind the pain of the past and rising victorious in your true design life. I believe your true design includes empowering relationships, great health, lovely energy, um, a financial abundance, overflow in fact, <laughs> as well as work that fulfills you, that really, really fulfills you, okay? Um, it's really up to you to claim it. It's really up to you to claim it. Sometimes we do things that don't enable us to claim it, which is where I come in and support you in seeing where things might not be supporting you. Now, we have a question today. Many things, many times this person feels as though they're on the verge of breaking through, but then things don't quite work out for them, okay? And it just keeps happening. She wondered if it was her imagination, but actually just keeps happening. And she kind of gave me a bit more of a breakdown and an explanation of what was going on and different situations where she felt scammed or she felt relationships breaking down just when they thought, when she thought it was going to go to the next level, all of that kind of stuff, which can happen to all of us at, from time to time where it feels as though things are not quite working out for you. And then you start to wonder what the frick is going on, right? But let's sing the affirmation and then we will start answering the question. I'll give you my opinion. It's just an opinion, okay? <laughs> I'm riding the waves of plenty, I am riding the waves of plenty, I'm riding the waves of plenty, I'm basking in abundant love, no wealth even, I'm riding the waves of plenty, oh I'm say hello as well it'd be great to speak with you okay so do you have you ever felt as though everything is going wrong or just where you think you're gonna break through things don't quite happen for you now I was thinking about this and I was thinking about how there are various different reasons why this happens to all kinds of different people okay it happens to everybody at a time I know that I've had periods in my life where it almost feels like oh my gosh everything is falling apart man and then it's like what do you do about this and the truth of the matter is that it can be, I, I think I've spoken about this in one of the other Ask Me Anything, but it doesn't matter anyway, we speak about these things as many times as we need to, to help you guys start to see things slightly differently. One, I have a belief. Now, whether you choose to take this on board or not is up to you, but I have a belief inside of me. Hello, Ashley, how you doing? I have a belief that everything is always working out for my good. Now, I didn't always have this belief. When I didn't have this belief, um, when, I, when things go wrong, you start looking for something else to go wrong, you start looking for something else to go wrong, and then something else happens, and blah, 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 blah. It's almost, like, it's almost like they come in threes, right? There's that saying that everything comes in threes, and so you're almost waiting for the third thing to happen. I remember cars breaking down, and they would always happen in a row, and it was always like that, and, and you always don't want to blame, because I was brought up Christian, brought up spiritual, and we are all spiritual people here. There's a tendency sometimes to start wondering, what have I done wrong? Was the divine trying to teach me some kind of a lesson here? What am I supposed to do? What is going on? Blah, 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 blah. And that was me before I had a belief that everything is working out for my good. Now, this lady, I have no idea. I'm not going to pretend to know why things sometimes happen in the way that they do. But in this case, a relationship breaking down. What if you took on the belief that everything is working out for my good, so maybe that relationship was not actually the relationship it was supposed to be in? Now, I don't know what was going on under the surface with you, um, or with any of you, anyway. Um, I know that when I've been in relationships that I'm not, supposed, I'm not supposed to be in, sometimes you really want to be in it because you think it's the only way that you're going to get love. And so you, you tr almost ignore all the internal anything, all the signs, everything, just because you want this thing to work out. We get attached to things, and I've talked about this before. We get attached to things that sometimes your tr the, the divine, the universe, whatever, because you're partnering with the divine, it's, you're, you're speaking about the things that you desire, you're affirming them, I hope. You're doing all the internal work to, desi to design a life that you desire. I hope you're doing this deliberately. Most people are not. But if you are, 
and then you start to see that things are not quite working out, honey, you just need to stay focused on the vision and know that all of those things are shifting to make room for the thing that you desire even better than you expect. However, what most of us do at this point is get scared. We get worried. We get, oh my gosh, it's all falling apart. I must be doing something wrong. You start looking for something wrong. You start looking for what am I doing wrong. So your focus is now changed from this is what I desire to create to what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I promise you the universe will give you something that you're doing wrong, basically, okay? Because that has now become your focus. So you always get what you desire. So if your desire is to find out what am I doing wrong, you will find it, okay? You will find it. Now, that's not always the case. Sometimes, sometimes, things, sometimes things are playing out because you're not being very deliberate about the desires of your heart. You are just kind of responding to life any old how. The thing I know, and I don't, the, the, the way I can talk here, because I'm given a, a general um, answer to a question that someone's asked, is that I can leave you guys thinking that you need to blame yourselves or feel guilty about some of the decisions you've made in the past or anything like that, or, and uh, you know how, and I don't want that because that doesn't help you either. There's no reward in blaming yourself for past ways of thinking there is no gift in, in feeling guilty or shameful that you should have more faith or you should be this or you should be the other. There's no gift in that. There's no lesson to be learned ex at all in that. Okay, so that is never my goal here. My goal is never to get you to feel bad about yourself because of something or whatever you've done. What I do know, however, as we being here on this planet and the choice that we've made to be here on this planet is that we've mostly forgotten about our own power. We don't realize that we do create everything that shows up in our life, okay? We do. There, we do. You're not just some... It's not just happening to you, okay? Now, does that mean you take responsibility for the earthquake that happened in somewhere? Some, no, I'm not saying that. That's what I'm trying to say here. I'm not saying start blaming yourself and blah, blah, blah. But I am saying that we take responsibility from this moment forward, however, that from this moment forward, we start to actively and very deliberately partner with the divine. We cannot always see how exactly the things that we desire are going to come through to us. But we know that when we have really set our mind on this is what is going to show up in my life. This is how I choose to prosper. That somehow that will come to us. So even when things start to get shaken, we're not swayed. We're not shaken. And this is a practice. That you don't start looking at the physical reality and telling yourself that must mean that I'm in some way doomed. No. No. I was saying this to someone on the phone yesterday. Is that we're too enamored sometimes. We're too attached to the way things have to look. And I almost, and there's so much I could say about this. We're so attached to the way things have to look. That when things are trying, when you, the, the, the universe is trying to give you exactly what you want, you take your mind off what you want and start looking at something else and start blaming yourself and start feeling sorry for yourself. And that whole feeling sorry for yourself, the whole feeling victimized by life, and it doesn't get you anything good. It just gets you more, more, you attract to yourself more situations that make you feel victimized, more situations that make you feel like blag, which I know is not consoling if you're in the middle of, um, a, a crisis or things are happening and you just, well, okay, the thing I can say to you is this, from this moment forward, decide that you're now going to have a belief that says, everything is working out for my good. All of my needs and my desires are always being met because that is the law. It is the law, guys. It's just sometimes we're not clear about what we actually want. You think you're being clear. But you don't understand that there's lots of stuff inside of you that is not clear. One, it could be ideas of, I don't deserve to have that good thing happen to me. It's too good to be true for someone like me. Now that will, so on one hand, you'll be saying to the divine or saying, or saying and, and, and deciding this is what I want out of my life. So you're saying that. But then on the other hand, you're saying, oh, I don't actually think I can have the thing that I want, really. So what is the divine supposed to give you? <laughs> On one hand, you say, this is what I want. On the other hand, you're saying, well, but actually, I don't deserve that, though. What are you supposed to get at this point? We have to take responsibility for sorting out what is going on inside of us. Does this mean that we spend half of our life digging and searching, which some spiritual people can end up doing? 
Sometimes, yes, it does mean that. Other times, no, it's just when something appears, you could maybe have a quiet moment with the divine and say, okay, this has shown up. This is the desire of my heart. Is there something I need to sort out here? Very quickly. And then change your mind about it. Change your belief around it. Do you have a belief that says, everything is just always going wrong for me? Turn it to, actually, from this moment forward, everything always works out for my good. And then you have to keep practicing that belief because you have practiced the belief that things always break down for me. Things always never go right, right for me. Whenever something good happens, something bad always comes following it. These are things that you've practiced. And I know you can listen to me and you'll be thinking, some of you all can think to yourself, oh, it seems so simple what you're saying, but it's not. If you knew my life, then this, that, and the other. You can choose that as a belief as well. <laughs> You can choose that as a belief as well, that, oh, well, my life is just harder than everybody else's. It's because of where I live. It's because of my skin color. It's because of this. It's because of that. You don't know, Rosemary, because if you had, and no, 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 if you had done this, then you would understand. That's why my life is this. You can choose that as a belief if you want to, because you are powerful enough to decide that that is going to be your story. Or you can decide, actually, no, this is not the end for me. No. I am created in the image and the likeness of the divine. I am powerful beyond measure. I'm capable of my calling. My vision is my permission. Everything is always working out for my good. The better life gets, the better life continues to get. I keep going from good to better to best. You can choose those beliefs. And when you start to train yourself to come from different beliefs, because most people do not realize just how controlled they are by what they believe. Now, forget about the spiritual side of things. If you believe inside of you that because of where you live or because of the skin color, there is that you are never, that, that you, it's always harder for you. I promise you that when an easy situation presents itself to you, you won't even see it. You will tell yourself that someone is trying to scam you because everything is always harder for you. And so forget all the um, spiritual side if you want to, but we're spiritual people, we don't need to do that. From a very practical perspective, you are designing your life. The behaviors you take are based on what you believe about yourself. You, this person who asked this question, the chances are, if I could see more of the picture, that you, that you might, no, no blame, no shame, no nothing. I just want you to be aware you might be putting yourself in positions that someone who believed everyone always cares for me, everyone always loves me, everything is always working out for my good, would never put themselves in that position. You, we all know someone who, it's almost like trouble seems to surround them. I promise you it's because of what they believe. It's because of what they believe about themselves. And so somehow they always find themselves in situations that are just like, I would never find myself there. It's like, I don't even know how you got there. There's sometimes when people are saying things to me and I'm thinking, yeah, but how, how could that, that would never happen to me. Why? Because for me, I have a belief that says that can never happen to me. <laughs> Whereas that person has a belief that says that those things kind of do happen to me. And so it's becoming aware of what are we accepting as truth for us? Because it's only as you start to be very deliberate and get self-aware. Most of us are walking through life. Well, not us, because I don't do that anymore. I used to do it. You're walking through life and you're, you're not aware of what is going on in your own head. You know more about everybody else than you know about yourself. And I don't come here as some kind of, I don't know, I, I don't know, somebody. I come here as your friend. Just to help you see and start to pay attention what are the underlying thoughts that I continue to, to encourage? They have taken up residence in my head and I haven't questioned them in years. What are those thoughts? If something is, if a pattern is showing up in your life, I promise you it is something to do with what you believe is possible for you. Again, no blame, no shame, no guilt. Just be aware, because if you're aware, you can do something about it. If you're not aware, you, things will keep happening and you keep thinking that it's just happening to you. 
it isn't just happening to you. We're too powerful for that, guys. We are too powerful for that. It's like, choose you this day. Who will you serve? Prosperity or lack? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Which one are you going to go with? And it's all dependent on what you choose to believe about yourself. And sometimes in the face of things that have been happening and you haven't had that, had, haven't had, really had anybody tell you that you need to pay attention, there can be this feeling of, but I can't do anything about it. It's not my fault. You are never helpless. I don't care where you are. Don't care. Don't care where you are. You are not helpless. You are too powerful to be helpless. It's just that you're believing flawed ideas. You've forgotten who you are. My role, my job here is to help you remember. But whether you listen to me is a different thing because some people are too addicted to their story. They would rather have a sad story. That used to be me. You just don't understand, Rosemary. You just don't understand. If you lived my life, then you would... Okay, I don't understand then. <laughs> okay. I really hope you guys are not those people who are so attached to the story that you'll be fighting for the story instead of recognizing, well, okay, yes, it has happened. But from this moment forward, I decide on a different path for myself. Because the divine isn't going to force you so lots of people are praying and praying and praying to God, please, please, please come and help me. Please come and help me. Please come and help me. And God is saying, okay, but I'm trying to send good things to you, but you cannot see it. You cannot see it. You're very welcome, Prince David. You can't see it because your thinking is, is a little bit off course. We have to become self-aware. We have to be willing to see. Are you? Okay, I'm going to leave it at that for now. I hope that kind of helps a little bit. I wish if I, if I, could, if I could work with everybody one-on-one, -on -one, I could help you see specifically for you what is going on, but this is as good as it gets. Tell me yours if you want me to answer any questions for you um, and you're not willing to work with me one-on-one -on -one for some strange reason of your own, then... <laughs> Then send me through a message and I will get do one of these for you and, and, and try and answer your question as clearly as I can with this, the little information people tend to give me. Um, just self-awareness, guys. Right now, in fact, right now, I would say to you all, you need to join the Abundance Library. Again, I don't care where you are. You need to join the Abundance Library. So you all, uh, you, 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 all, you, you will spend money on the craziest things that get you nowhere. <laughs> And when it comes to doing the thing that would actually expand you in ways that you can't even begin to imagine right now, you hold back. Oh, no, no, no. I'm scared of this. Okay. Well, again, that's a belief and it keeps you from your good. Not always. I'm not saying that you have to buy something from me in order to prosper. No, no, no. Prosperity is your divine right. The divine will try as many ways to get through to you. But you're here. So I'm talking to you right now. Join the Abundance Library, but don't just join thinking that it's some, some kind of magic bullet that has nothing to do with you, honey. It will work for you because you decide to work it, okay? You decide to immerse your mind in new ways of thinking. You decide to recognize that you're maybe not as self-aware as you could be if you want to truly prosper in every area of your life. Join the Abundance Library so you start to be exposed to different ways of thinking, so that you get different results out of life. A lot of the programs in there help you to train your mind. A lot of the programs in there help you to see the, the way you do life differently. There's it's, it's access to practically my whole program library for a very nominal um, sum. If you want to find out more about the Abundance Library, message me the word abundance and I will get that link over to you. You are designing your life from inside of your mind out. You think that your life is being created from outside in. It is not. <laughs> okay? So the Abundance Library will help you start to sort out the inside so that the outside will be the prosperity that you desire in every area of your life. Are you ready to make your transition if you are, message me the word abundance. Let's finish by singing the affirmation. 
And make sure you share this with someone else, okay, my loves? And any questions you have, of course, feel free to add to the bottom there or send me a message or whatever. <laughs> okay, there's always a way to ask me questions if you want to. I'm riding the waves of plenty, I am riding the waves of plenty. I'm riding the waves of plenty. I'm basking in abundant will. I'm riding the waves of plenty. Get me wrong, man. I'm riding the waves of plenty, I am riding the waves. will start to change things for you if you would allow yourself to actually feel it you know I'm riding the waves of plenty see it use your imagination see yourself riding the waves of plenty basking in abundant wealth you're surrounded by wealth it's just all around you it's part of you it's just who you are if you would start to do simple things like that you would not be available for nonsensical things to happen in your life and even when they do happen, you won't even notice. Your mind will be so focused on what you're creating that it'll be almost like, what is this little mosquito? <laughs> Basically, and you'll keep moving forward and you will break through. <sighs> Prosperity is your divine right. I cannot say this enough to you guys, but you only get it if you claim it because you are powerful enough to decide that you don't want it or to decide that you do. Share this with someone else. If you want to find out about the Abundance Library, message me the word abundance. It's been a pleasure as always. Much amazing love. Always loving your questions, so send your questions through. Love to answer them. Much amazing love. Bye.